This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. Rotation direction. What do we have on our screen? Oh, boring ones. Okay. When you use the counter pattern for rotation property, for the rotation property with addition, the object will always rotate clockwise. Sometimes, however, you will want your sprite to rotate the other direction. To do this, you can use subtraction. Ooh, do this. There are three gears set up for you. You need to make the gears all look like they are rotating in sync with each other. Make the gears rotate so they look like they're, they are working as one system. They won't all rotate in the same direction yet. So if you can't tell, and it's kind of hard to see this, this green one is going this way, which is clockwise, right? The blue one is actually moving this way, which is counterclockwise. And the red one is going this way, which is clockwise. And if I hit run, you'll see these numbers not change because they're not moving yet. All right. So it's tempting to go over here to sprites and say, all right, let's make them rotate. Let me slap down a rotate and a rotate for starters. And I'm going to say blue. I don't know if it's going. What do we say? Blue is the one going counterclockwise. So I've got to try 15, right? And oops, green gear. Oops, I did that wrong. Blue gear. And now green gear is going clockwise. So we'll say negative 20, right? Run. Well, why aren't they changing? Well, they did change. They moved over a bit just once, right? And they only moved over once because right here at the top, we rotated them and that's it. So the second we hit run, they're already rotated, right? So, oh, okay, we need them in the draw loop, right? We need it to run repeatedly to see their movement. Yep, we definitely would. However, if I do this, they still don't work. Why? Well, because it's stuck. We're telling it right now 30 times a second that the blue gear should be at the rotation amount of 15. It would be the same thing as telling it 30 times a second that the blue gear should be, I don't know, an, an inch long, right? Or that the blue gear should be blue. We're saying the blue gear dot rotation, its rotation should be 15, 30 times a second. It doesn't matter if we say that a million times a second. Okay, the computer's like, yep, it's at 15, it's at 15. We need it to move. We need it to change. For something to change in that way, we're using the counter pattern. So I'm headed to math. And for the blue gear, I was thinking it'd be positive. So let's test this out. All right. In math, blue gear. Let me reset. And what do we want to change? Well, I want to change blue gear dot rotation. So let me grab the sprite dot rotation. Change this up. Blue gear dot rotation plus, I don't know, one. Let's see. Ah, is it moving in the right way, though? Nope, of course not. Counterclockwise would be negative. That makes sense. I'm going to go into text mode and change it over. Now, what it's doing, and if I want it to move a bit faster, I can just, I don't know, I'll change that to three. It might be too fast. It might not look exactly like their image. Their image is just a GIF after all. All right. So what that is doing is when we hit run, the computer says, creates the sprite, slaps them on the screen, draws a white background, right? Anything in the draw loop happens 30 times a second. So it draws our background. It says the blue gears rotation is going to have a new value. Okay, what is it? Well, it's equal to the old value. Well, when we hit run, the old value would be zero. Zero minus two is negative two. So the new value of the gears rotation at that point is negative two. Then we hit the draw sprite and it slaps it on the screen. We hit the bottom of the draw loop, go back around. We blank out the screen with white. And then we say, okay, the blue gears rotation has a new value. What is it? Well, it's equal to the old value of blue gear rotation. Oh, what was that? We just said negative two. So negative two minus two is negative four. Blue gear dot rotation is now equal to negative four. And now we draw the sprite again. Keep in mind, this happens 30 times a second. It happens so fast that we don't even see it whiting out the screen and redrawing the gear. It just looks like one smooth animation. Now we hit the bottom, go back to the top. It blanks out the screen. Blue gear dot rotation has a new value. What is it? It's equal to the old value minus two. So that'd be negative four. We redraw it, so on and so forth. Now that moves this one uh, counterclockwise. We need to move these guys though as well. And honestly, it takes this same blocks. All we need is a positive number. So if I drag out rotation, it will just fill in or provide an equal sign for me. Now these are moving in a positive direction. So a plus and a plus. 
And then I need another rotation for both of them. Rotation and rotation. Now I just got to type in, let's do the red gear here. I'm going to stick with two. Maybe it's one. Maybe it's a hundred million. It's not a hundred million. Green gear plus two. Okay. And let's check it out. Boom. Let's see the picture. And that looks pretty natural to me. Okay. So I'm not sure about their speed again. Maybe I'll try three on them. Oh, let me get rid of this block too. That was messing some stuff up. They were overlapping. And the speed shouldn't matter too much. I like three. That looks good to me. So, but uh, we did it. Onward.